to another training session in Dreamweaver. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the colors of the navigation links. If you look closely here, let's have a zoom in here, so you can see the colors, this St. Mark Square and gondolas and hotels, they're all blue. And for a navigation bar, well, we don't really want that. So we're going to change that. And we can also look at the rollover links as well. Might do it in this one, maybe another video. So how do we do it? Again, all to do with styles. So what we need to do is work out what tag is nearest to one of these links here. It doesn't matter which one because they're all the same. So if I click on home and look from right to left, the right tag will show you the one that's nearest to the text that you've selected. So if I highlight the word gondolas, for instance, you can see A is highlighted. If I highlight St. Mark's Square, you can see, well, it's A and the same with contact. So it's the A tag that we're wanting to change. So again, armed with that, so what I'm going to just do is I'm going to click on, make sure we got the A selected. Uh, and then I'm going to go over to the selectors. We'll create a new selector there. Okay. And notice uh, it comes up main wrapper, nav bar, A. So hash main wrapper, hash nav bar, A. Now, why does it do that? Well, the reason is, is this particular hyperlink here exists or lives inside nav bar. And the navbar exists inside main wrapper. Now this bit's important because we don't want to change all the hyperlinks on our page. We just want to change the ones that live inside the navigation bar. The ones inside the navigation bar will say be black and then will be orange when we roll over it or, or whatever, basically. So uh, I'm going to do this as maybe as a dark red color. So make sure that's okay. Press enter. You can see it's taken. And we're going to change the color of the text. So to do so, click on the text button under the properties to take us there. Goes down, we can see color. Notice the spelling of color. This is HTML spelling. There's no U. Uh, so make of that what you will. Click on the drop down list for the color here. And I'm going to choose a dark red color. There we go. There's a, you'll see color sliders and so forth on the right hand side. That's good. So it's just going to be a dark red color. That's good. And press enter on the keyboard. That changes all my hyperlinks to red. You can already see it there. There's also uh, an, another one which is quite handy. If I go down, there's one called text decoration. If you're typing this in, text hyphen decoration, uh, I want to have that as none. So if I click on none, there you go. You can see that all of the underlines disappear from uh, underneath the hyperlinks there. That's good. So there we go. That's changing the uh, colors of the hyperlinks. If you want to see how that looks, then basically save the document, file, save all, and have a preview in the browser. So preview, preview in Google Chrome. I want to have a quick look. There we can see our hyperlinks are nice. There we go. So that's it for this training video. For the next time, we're going to look at adding some padding around the nav bar, but also changing the colors when we roll over them uh, as well. So that's something that we're going to look at. For more training videos, if you're watching this on YouTube, please direct your browser to computertutoring.co.uk uh, where you can download exercise files as well so you can practice uh, with these very graphics and uh, pictures and so forth that, we're, that you're seeing on this uh, video.